the and new yo, I hustle with the poppies. Right. Know some good hockey. Right. We just try and smother the cheese and smoke broccoli. Right. You move too sloppy. Uh-huh. Put a price on your body. Uh-huh. That shooter's running up and down your steps like Rocky. Like Rocky. It's that easy. You just making it hard. Making Give a hater hard. an inch and a clip. As long as a yard. Your bitch is abroad. Wouldn't last a second a yard. It's that new Philly. No disrespect to the guards. I dug the grains. Now I'm about to finish them all because right. it's all about the Benjis. No feelings involved, you know. Right. South Philly to Logan. Boy, they know my slogan. They know my Got the whole stick on them niggas and reload it. Far as uptown go, uh, they should have told them. Them dudes is all right, but my shit is just more potent. The sun wrote it. Directed it. The main star, the big bro. Kick you out. Cut your game bro, off. Game no bullets, same block. Got it locked. My ain't shit changed. It's the new what you thought would keep the smell from major fingers put one through your brain? For Philly, it's the new Philly. I give it to you for free. You know your road better stay in your lane. Oh, it's the new Philly. Philly, Philly, Philly pop tops plus Willie's for my squad. No disrespect to the gods. The Flame gods, on the Santos, gods. burn this bitch to the ground. My Vicks in my pits for them birds right now. I tell you like this, bro, I'm probably smooth as it gets. Give you the clip, have my bitch scoop me up in the whip. Yo, this the home of Sam Christian. Keep a black smithing. Cause little niggas strapped and trust me, they all with it. Voice of the youth, where LGP quiet. I hope Shelton Ham and Broad is where I die at. Doing it proper, keep it cool like Baca. Y'all gonna make me play meek and pull up with the chopper. And it's just me and Hennessy Cab. I spent 11 22s to so leave a mumble rapper dead. Understand you ain't gonna show me a gram. And I don't like how you draw him. Better get your man. Tell Jazz, let it blast. Baby, I'm about to spass. It's that new feeling. No disrespect to the past. Come on. No bully, same block. Got it locked. I ain't shit change. It's the new feeling. What you thought would keep the smell from major fingers? Put one through your brain. Just like that. We Just back. like that. We at you. It's your OG, baby, Mr. Mike. Rome 1500, your old boy is in the building. In the building, AK the office, and you know how we do. We come at you every Thursday morning with the hottest topics in the AM. That morning noon hour. AKA the morning noon hour. You done tapped into that one hour between 11 and 12, and you decided to hang out with us. That's what I'm talking about. All right. How let your old if your indie artists send me those bangers, all the good shit. I think we have a good show lined up today, Ron. What do you think? Ooh, we got some. We got some. Uh, we, we got, got them hot some topics. Op- we got them opinions, <laughs> but we gonna get a laughter. <laughs> yes, indeed. It's never personal. All right. Uh, shout out to everybody tuned in. Appreciate it. Yep. Yes, indeed. Like always. What's up, Munch? And remember, you can check out my podcast. My podcast is now. On Google Podcasts, Apple, Apple Podcasts, Spotify Podcasts, YouTube, YouTube, and my favorite, iHeart. I love saying iHeart, dog. I love saying iHeart Radio. We climbing. We climbing. We climbing. Check me out. All right. Uh, today we talking about uh, Wendy Williams. She apologized for a comment that she made uh, about gay men. And we talking about Lil Boozy, Lil Boozy ranting. Mm, 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 mm. He just killing Dwayne Wade. Uh, this, 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 mm, this. Hey, my bed flossing this morning, dog. That trim up look nice right there, dog. That's what I try to tell you, bro. You gotta get a brush laid down. Lay it down, lay it down. There you go. Lay it down. There you go. But we gonna uh, keep it moving. We gonna keep it moving. Ron got some small whole talk. Whole thing is really out of out of control, but. I want to also give a shout out to uh, Janet Dubois. Janet Dubois, aka aka Walona from Good Times. Walona from Good Times. The Where the women at? Where the women at? Yes. Except some trash talk like that. The Lord has called her name wrong. Yeah, she earned she earned herself a place in heaven. She got she earned them wings. Yeah, 
And I know a lot of people going to miss her because she was a, she was in the public eye. Yeah. People people around our age, we grew up on them. So I didn't even know that. You just informed me. Mm, see? Mm. It's good. We working things over here. Yeah. So, yeah, it's 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 uh it's it's one of those shows that you can actually relate to all the characters. Good, good times. times. Good yeah. t- I know. Good times. And you see the personality in them uh and those characters and people right up right now. Yeah, cause you know I answer my yeah. phone. I'd be like, "Cello." <laughs> That's the JJ. That's JJ. So, yeah. so you don't like that? She's like, oh my god, don't answer the phone like that. Cause I'm like, sound, cause you sound gay. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I'm like, "Cello." <laughs> Kid Dino Mike had it locked. Kid Dino Mike. So we just wanted to give a little shout out to. Uh, Mal- well, let me let me correct it. Walona. B- Walona. Yeah, we had a debate going. We was hard too. Yeah, because we. I he was, was saying Malona. <laughs> I was saying Valona. <laughs> and we both was wrong. We both was wrong. Was I just knew it wasn't Valona. <laughs> I just knew that. <laughs> so I was halfway wrong. So we both was halfway yeah. wrong. <laughs> shout to uh, shout to everybody coming out this Saturday at the reunion, York Street, Cumberland Street, Hunter Street. Shout out to. Every Pulaski Hall. I know that's gonna be uh whew, that's gonna be some sights to see. Yeah. And and uh and Dolphin Street. Yeah. That's, that's about two, three hundred people right ooh, there. That's on. a neighborhood run. Yes, it is. That's a strong a, neighborhood. That's strong neighborhood. That's like a big ass square area. Mm, 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 mm. A, a, a lot of people still yeah. living. Still living. Some looking good, some not. Oh well. But if you show up, that's what's up. Yeah, I guess so, right? Because <laughs> basically, you still living you still enough, living. You still living enough to celebrate. So applaud them people. Yeah, I'm your OG, Mr. Mike. This is my co-host. Rome 1500. You know I'm in the building. Yeah, yes, indeed. So we're gonna start off with little boozy, little boozy rant about Dwayne Wade. I know y'all seen that. Actually, I didn't. My mind was in studies. somewhere else. Yeah, in studies. But basically, he was saying what everybody else was saying. Uh, you know, uh, about how he too young to make up his mind. He don't know this. He don't know that. And how can let his son cut that wiener off? I mean. Because that is be- being part of transgender, right? That The operation is going to come sooner or later. Well, you, I mean, you got to. And you got to be of a certain age, if I'm correct. Yeah. Or have the, the parents consent. Well. To sign off on that shit. That's the difference right there. The parent consent. Where, though, you got to look at it. Um. Them two being meaning uh, D Wade and Gab, they public figures. Mm-hmm. So, so they're gonna get that consent, right? If the, if they feel in total support for this, mm-hmm. and also too, you gotta think. People was talking about how he sat on the cart and he was able to um, handle his conversation and know what he's talking about. He's not getting the same education that our neighborhood behind us is getting. Yeah. So he got a little sense. Yeah, he got a, a lot of sense. So he's probably um, Google looked into a whole bunch of stuff. Because you got to think also, too, back when we was coming up, we didn't have the access to the Internet. So it was either go to the library and find out as much as you can. Now you ain't even got to So you think house. it might, uh, you think it's genuine or you think that he was influenced by today's society that, uh, I that think that is cool. I think he was influenced. I mean, because you think so, I look at it. So would like, you? So wrong? Would you say nowadays? That's it's about to get deep because you know. First of all, they uh they had one transgender was reading to the uh, the kids in school, and from what I hear, they uh they might be teaching teaching that in schools too. Well, so so now the question comes. Are our kids naturally like that? Is it genuine or are they being influenced by what they see? I say or it's both. A, I say it's an influence. Because now you push it's like you pushing they it pushing, on them. they pushing all of this to be accepted on everybody. And like you see it in the commercials, 
you see it now as being accepted, you know, all over the TV screen. And they're trying to teach it in schools. Now they're trying to teach it in schools. So now it's being forced on you. You see it. A.K.A. so they have knowledge of it. You surround yourself with it. So now you got your letters. You got your, uh, your, um, your rainbow, you know, logo to support it, you know. So now it's being forced, it's being pushed. Mm. So you have no 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 option but to see it. That's interesting. But that's only that's only something that uh him and Gab would know if it's from him genuine or is he being influenced by what he's seeing. Well, like I said, if, if he if he did see it from somewhere else, he can go to the internet, find out, read everything that he wanted to know about it on his own. Because remember, he uh, D-Wade was like, he brought it to him. He let him know. Mm. So he must have been, you know, uh, background checking all the information that he needed to be able to bring this to his parents. And then yeah. a lot of people got to understand, he's not getting the same education that city people getting. Like, for instance, you have people that say, oh, I'm in charter school. You have people that say, uh, well, my, my child goes to Catholic school. Then it's the whole thing of public school. Look where public schools is at now. They See, got about four of them closed in this city. That's, 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 that's getting deep, right? Because, like you say, Ron, when they, it, to me, they definitely pushing it on them. So now the question going to start coming up, man, are, are, are kids generally this way? Or once again, are they being influenced? That's going to be a debate. Because of, of what they seeing. That's going to no, be a debate always. I, I'm not really like that, but from what I'm seeing, all that good stuff, you know, that's a good question. I'm your OG, Mr. Mike. This is my co-host. <laughs> your old boy, Rome, 1500. All right, and we come at you every Thursday with the hottest topics in the AM. Shout out to everybody that's tuned in. Shout out to Miss Jackson, uh, my cousin Rashida, my man Jason Blake. Shout out to y'all today. We got two hot topics. We talking about Lil Boozy Rant. About Dwayne Wade, that whole situation, and uh, and our main topic is we talking about Wendy Williams apologizing to the gay community for her comment. What yeah. did she say? She said gay men will never be the women that women are, and I totally agree with her on that comment. We know this, but I don't think she should have apologized. I don't think she either. <laughs> but her being public figure, she's getting attacked. It was smart for her to do that. Believe it or not, cause she don't. You don't want to ruffle the gay community feathers like that, cause they be outside a fucking studio protesting this shit. See, see. She wouldn't even be able to go up and sign no autographs, no books, no shit, cause trust me, they'll be there with that sign. So, with that being said, why is it that the the gay men can almost say and uh, be disrespectful and 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 shit like that, but Especially a public figure. When you comment towards them or whatever, you know, all hell break loose. <laughs> definitely, they, they're definitely trying to sue your ass. Some of them is cocky and flamboyant. Yes, real flamboyant. <laughs> real flamboyant. Uh, and, they, and they definitely can do shit. They can cause trouble at work. Sexual harassment real quick. And get and get their rights. Yeah, <laughs> yo, <laughs> a gay notice. look, a gay person can work at a job, right? And this is what they can do. They can fuck around. Somebody can say some shit. Use the word gay or faggot. There you go. That's the key word right there with them. Let them be at work. Somebody say get the fuck out of you, faggot. They go to the manager. The manager don't do nothing. They gonna quit and they gonna call corporate. So now. They're gonna sue the fucking company for 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 that for their rights. Over over the difference difference in calling of a, of a, a word. A faggot opposed to gay. And a gay. This is this is how it's trouble they can cause. And when once again, these are only our opinions and our laughter. But I still ask the question, why why is it that though? Because once again, I don't think Wendy was wrong with what, what she said. Once again, what did she say? 
She said that gay men will never be the women that women are. And and what kills me is you got some dudes out here actually trying to be more more women than than women. Than women. (laughs) And let this be on record, right? And I said this to uh I said this to Rome last week. All this shit tied together, right? But I definitely see a vision because science science is crazy. Here we go. But mm-hmm. my vision is that one day they're gonna do an operation on some transgender person. They're gonna put some female organs in that person and they're gonna see if this person can give birth. I see it. I'm almost guaranteeing that. Maybe I'll be here to see that. I Maybe I won't. I wouldn't be surprised because you but think about it. The body is just a I, shell. I could see that, man. And and they will do and they, they will and what they're gonna do, they're gonna call it uh a scientific discovery. Cause now they're gonna prove that men <laughs> keyword, men can carry babies. My my word, you heard it from me, Michael Carroll. On this day, okay. No, it was on, you heard it on. The, you heard it. That up entertainment show two. Turn it up two and five show, baby. I said it. You heard it. Ah, they gonna try it, man. And then also, and it's that much cuckoo shit going on. It really is, dog. And then, there's a lot of cuckoo shit going on. Then you figure they gonna be look at it like the body is just a shell. Yeah. You can take out this and put. This and if they can prove that wrong, oh my god, I I think the percentage. Of gay men and transgender, that shit gonna skyrocket, it's, dog. It's the creation of a gender and they gonna get. Oh my god! <laughs> Can you imagine a retarded ass baby that's gonna be walking around? Uh, <laughs> uh, you <doing> <laughs> Those gonna be some retarded ass fucking kids, dog. I try to tell you, you you go ahead and fuck with nature if you want to. I don't even think they'll be retarded. I think they'd just be confused. They be weird as shit. They be genetically confused. Then they gonna have. Then they gonna have kids. So do they have? What, what do they have? Male and female organs. I don't even know. But I my father have a, a the coochie. I ain't even. I ain't even thinking that far. My if, that, if that's if that's the case, who's not to say if they make it a way where they in, make it easy for them to just inject themselves? Oh, oh I got another one. Women with penises. They're going to start sewing them bitches on. Uh, <laughs> Yo, America ain't shit. Natural strap-ons. Society ain't shit. I'm your OG, Mr. Mike. It's my co-host. Rome 1500. I'm in the building. We chilling. That's right. We got those hot topics. We talking about low boozy rent. Was he right? Was he wrong? And Wendy Williams, she apologized. Apologized for a comment. Well, I think she was right. <laughs> what did she say? She said gay men will never be the women that women are. That's a true statement. True statement. And I'm glad me and you can actually sit here and talk about it. Yeah, we can say that because we're not public figures. We're not getting sued. Not yet, anyway. Oh, yeah. They might fuck around, they go might outside. Be 10 years from now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all owe us an apology. Because <laughs> we done blew up now. Okay, whatever. Shout out to everybody tuned in. Talk to the people. Tell us what you think. Leave us a comment. All right, it's Thursday morning, City Brotherly Love. You know what we do. We come at you. We give you all a little bit of sisterly affection with the brotherly love. The brotherly love. Talk about Lil Boozy. Wendy Williams. Wendy Williams comment. Small talk, John. Walona. Walona Williams, good time she passed. Yeah. That's a, mm, they dropping, wrong. Because we turning into older people. Yeah, you can't even be mad. And when we was young, they was old. <laughs> it was adults. Some of them was actually teenagers on TV shows. But then you know you got the uh, you got the real age and you got the the movie age storyline age. Yeah, they might be like a couple of years different. All right, but we're gonna bang this song real, real. All right, come back. Actually, leave us a comment. Come back. Get some shout outs every Thursday. We come at you, man. My co-host. More noon hour. In the more noon hour. All right, where we at? Right here. Forever and always. It's a banger right here. I 
tell you things you should already know Like how I, I think you're perfect from your head to your toes I'm blessed to have you, just to be around you So happy I found you, yeah, yeah, yeah You turned me from a boy to a man Made me change up my ways like no one else can Girl, I'm so in love, no sense in denying and I hope this feeling never dies, no. Day and night, night and day Thinking of you in every single way By your side I'll stay Forever and always Grateful for the love you give You give me reason to live by your side I'll stay Forever and always Baby girl, I wanna give you the world Somebody I can share all my love with So happy that I made you my girl You the one that I truly fell in love with You the one I wanna chill with You the one I wanna deal with The one I keep it real with Got kids, got bills with You the one I'm trying to build with So happy that I made you mine For your love, I'ma work it over time Baby girl, I'm on my grind For my family, I'm a pillar on a line So happy that I made you mine For your love, I'm a working over time Baby girl, I'm on my grind For my family, I'm a pillar on a line Day and night, night and day Thinking of you in every single way By your side, I'll stay Forever and always Grateful for the love you give You give me reason to live Each and every single By day, your girl. side I'll stay By your side I'll stay Forever and always no no Baby girl, you the greatest gift Thank God for the greatest wish Baby girl, we can grow together Love you forever, I'ma make you my bitch I know you tired of the same old shit You were broken, so I'm ready to fix Fix your heart from the lands and the games You know it's real, I'm on my knees with the rain Finally find a woman I can love God sent me an angel from above So one I can give on my love So one I can give on my love Finally find a woman I can love God sent me an angel from above So one I can give on my love So one I can give on my love when I think about all I've been through I just can't see myself without you Cause you held me down When no one else was around <laughs> We back We it's back us. at you Mr. Mike, Rome 15 Rome the head grinding me up He want that song Cause I could be banging this He could be banging that On a late night Late night giving, ride home Giving it some street Some street burn Yeah, I mean That's that That's that ride song Yeah, I mean Like you say well, you Exactly ride And you got night, it Trapped up in this damn computer <laughs> <laughs> Share the love I got you wrong I always forget though God, I don't mean on purpose man Keeping the joints tight Tight It's your OG baby Mr. Mike Rome 1500 We back in the building Continuing what we got going on what we got going on is a whole lot of opinions. And, and laughter. Yeah, we got that too. That's that's just automatic. But today's topic is we want to hear what you think or we just commenting on D-Wade's son and what Lil Boozy had to say about him allowing his son to remove pop- Yeah, he was ranting too. I like, come on, man, don't do it, dog. Dog, don't do it, dog. But hey, look, Don't cut it off, dog. That's because he where he had his mind, but you got to think, shorty where he had in his mind. Yeah. Like I said, he probably was educating himself about it. And you so what do you do, man? What do you do? Like I told you earlier, man, this old head, we had a long-ass debate about that shit. We were debating about that shit. It's, it's deep, man. It's easier said when you're not in that situation, when your kid come to you with some shit like that. It's It's wild. What the fuck do you do? Well, we can't alienate your kid. We cut them off. Well, some people go to those limps, but I think you, I mean, as a parent, which is a very hard job, especially nowadays with all the activity on the sexual side of things, you got to continuously, first thing first, show love for your child. 
they have to be able to understand that, you know, my parents still love me. Even though I'm making this decision. Because when our kids, when our <coughs> children are coming up, we always let them know. Eventually, you're going to make choices and decisions on your own. So you either going to allow them to have that space where they can uh, do that and just step aside and, and, and uh, support it. But the, 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 it's, it's crazy because Lil Booz, you know, his point was uh, he, too, he was too young. So what, he don't know this, he don't know that. And it's, it's ironic because, I mean, it's all here. We had long as debate about it. And it's ironic that this old head felt the same exact way that Lil Boozy did. And this is a typical dude. He was saying the same thing. Like, how are you going to make that decision at that young age? I mean. I'm, I'm looking at him like, well, how can he not? I mean, like, what you going to do? I mean, you look at it from you look at it from different ways. For one, with the parents that he had, they might, they might okay it. Like you keep saying. They, they he, may look at it from the. The, uh, from the uh, avenue of, you know, if this is what he feels and this is what he's doing, let's just get it done while he's young. So, you know what I'm saying? It might not, it may be as painful, it may be painful later than it will be now. So yeah. they probably supporting him all the way to the point that he educated himself enough to say that this is what I want done. And the way that they doing surgeries to give you bigger butts, bigger breasts, uh, fixing, uh, fix, making you lose weight, mm. uh, changing your facial, your facial features. But it's, it's a, it's a known fact that it's a, it's a whole lot of other shit that come along with those operations. Yeah, there's some pros and cons that come along it's, with It's it. a whole gang of pros and cons. But you got to think, they might and be taking doing the pills. They might be doing the background clearance and checking. On that shit now. Right. To see if they can get the best doctor. Yes. So that way it don't. The best no, surgeon. Because uh, they, they got the money. Yeah. They public figures on just, you know, her the movies. And do you think that. You, you, do you think that thought went across his mind? Which one? His, his, uh, his son. Because that, like, you know, if, he, if he's so intelligent, like they say, didn't that thought cross his mind of, uh who his dad and his mom is and how it would affect them. Do you think it crossed his mind? It should have. I, 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 it I, had to, right? I think it crossed his mind, but I think he's so far into showing who he is mm. and, his, and who he really feel he is. It didn't it matter. Doesn't matter. Yeah, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter who my parents are. you know. And then you got to think, they, they showing them the love and the support. So he ain't got to feel no type of way about the shit. Right. So he feel open to say and have those conversations, maybe to explain then, how he feels. And then with the with, with his mom and dad. Don't even understand it. And, and and Dwayne Wade, once again, I think is is it's a little bit of propaganda in there too. I think this is his way of handling that shit, attacking that shit. I don't think I would be on anybody's show talking about it though. I guess this is his way to. Sh uh, I mean, it's so many. Me, me personally, I can't be. I, I guess can't be going on everybody fucking show. He might be looking at it like you know. That's how you got to handle it, right? I got to get it out there so that way there's no backlash from me or you know explaining his perspective of it. Ain't no surprise. But but here's the thing, you haven't seen any shows where Gab was on there talking about it. Exactly. Why not? At least not. Um, I guess they might feel. I guess they may feel like it's not her turn to explain it. Or that's a good one. This was something that they felt. Because if she did, it would definitely be out there. Man on man. And by now, you know somebody reaching out to Gabrielle. Quite sure. You know somebody reaching out. Quite sure. And you know she know Wayne. The Wayne went on the shows. Right. So they may be looking at it like you know. This I wonder father, if he was asked that question. A father and son type thing. Well, I mean. You, you you look at it as a father and son, but you have to explain it as my son has uh, changed his uh, is interested in changing his gender. So I guess you could look at it from a male's point of view from that way. I don't know. It's it's many ways that you could look into it. 
So, what do you? What? All right. What, my question is this: What do you think, Lil Boozy? Uh, opinion is really going to hold because his opinion is what a lot of people out here feel. Yeah, his he he come into play because he he's in the public eye. A lot of people follow him, so he one of them people. He just say what other people can't say or are saying, but don't have exposure, like me and you. True. We just don't we just don't have the exposure that he got, but. We, we saying the same fucking thing that everybody else saying, and, and we I feel know, the same way. And I know it's people. I know it's people out there that feel that same way. That you know, as a child, and having you know being a parent, when is it okay? Because remember, eighteen was the mark. The mark for when you, you can do whatever the fuck you want to do. Yeah, when you really feel like you legal, then it was twenty. And, you know, then it was 21. You so 18 is when you came out the closet. So they may be trying to get ahead of it to the point where though they, they don't he don't have to wait until he 18. They want to put this out there, get it accepted long before it even get to that point. Yeah, yeah. And this, and this funny because this, this even ties into our, our Wendy Williams comment when she had to apologize. She had to apologize for her comment to the gay community. Which, which we don't, we don't, we don't, we don't. Uh, which we agree with. We, we don't agree see nothing with. wrong with. Nothing wrong. What did she say? She said, "Gay men will never be the women that women are." Never. Never. You can add have, body parts. Yeah, have all the operations change. you want. You just know. It's just a natural this, thing. Right, and this is where, for me, they got I mad as shit. All, I get, I give women all the credit because. To see what a woman actually go through in a pregnancy, it's unbelievable. Oh yeah, it's unbelievable. I saw it after my daughter, and it's I it, appreciated it. And <laughs> yes, for I did. Her to make that comment, I don't think it was nothing wrong with it. Because None. No, is no man is no man that can give uh, uh can, that can replace a woman and Love. everything uh, affection and everything that comes along with her. Being a woman. Mm-mm. Actually being a woman. Natural. No. Nah. The key word is natural. 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 You can add all the body parts. You want. All the pills you want. Breast you implants. Still, you're still not the natural. Cut the wee-wee off. You're still not the natural. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you said the empty space. <laughs> That's funny as shit. Cut the wee-wee off. We got an empty space. The section with... Uh, yeah, never mind. <laughs> funny as shit. I couldn't even say that. Go ahead and say it, bro. <laughs> That just be the section where that thick uh, line is at. Yeah, but how you say, it, man? It's, it's it's crazy. And like I said earlier, the gay community holds a lot of power. That's why it was very important for her to apologize. I know it's sounds corny, but in business, sometimes uh, you got to fucking do that. Sometimes, even though you don't want to. And because now they you, you got to do that. They forcing it on you from all. From every way, yeah. Like you say, and and and, and she probably ain't meeting in uh, a negative derogatory and way. negative derogatory way. Is, is, is a statement. A lot of times, text texts get taken a lot of time out of content. That's why I have a text limit. And once I reach that limit, I gotta call you. Oh yeah. No, nah, I'm not gonna sit up here and go back and forth. With yeah. You a bunch of uh, text fucking text. story and shit. Mm-mm. It's supposed to be just short comments. <laughs> yeah, keep it moving. So, I mean, not a has fucking they, has book. They, has they threatened to cancel her show or do anything to her show? Nah. So right now, she hasn't heard any negative negative publicity from it. Nope. She apologized. Plus, the good thing the the, the good thing about her though, uh, is she has enough strong gay following. To where it's though it's not gonna build up to that, right? Because I was about to say, isn't the uh, cause she see guy on her show, yeah, and uh, most of her audience is women and gay dudes. Mm. You might you might have uh, one or two straight dudes, <laughs> not counting the cameraman, but for the most part, <laughs> it's, it's it's women, it's women and gay men on her show. Okay, you keep women, you gay men, transgenders and shit like you that. Me on right now. She looked transgender. 
She look a hot mess, dog. Why do you mean look a hot fucking mess, dog? Uh, and I can imagine how she look in person at the uh, at the uh, years and years of makeup and that cameras and the lighting beating on your face and shit like that. Oh my god, that's probably some ugh. Uh, that's a whole other topic. I ain't even into being. Yeah. Uh, for a need for one. Folks in my closet say she transgender. <laughs> I, I'm I'm watching sports on at that time. <laughs> shout out, shout out to first taking all the brothers that watch that even eight show. Uh, Undisputed, yeah. It's like news break. Wendy Williams has an announcement. <laughs> I don't want anybody to know I'm transgender. So I mean, I, I look niggas are killer, dog. Our dog, she, all dudes she slept with, <laughs> she be a body bag. Mm. Take his body up. But, I mean, if she can move forward, I mean, it's just right now, everybody. It's sensitive. It's sensitive. It's as sensitive. To see or, or to have this acceptance that there's a third party. Of this now. unnatural thing that's going on in our world today. And, yo, it's, yo, it's crazy because I, I wonder. See, like right now, before, back in the day, you know, if you was having a baby, nobody knew until that nine months when that baby came. Knew, now, knew, knew what? They knew that what the, what the uh, baby was. Yeah, was going to be a boy. Or I hated it when that changed. I hated it when that so changed. So now they got this whole thing, trans, uh, they, uh, not trans, I think the gender reveal thing. So that's a popular thing that's going on right now. So with them pushing and forcing this transgender do you think it's possible that somebody's going to actually have a transgender baby? <laughs> oh, my God. What color do I get? Do I get blue? Do I get pink? Like, they really pushing this out on people. You That's know, a good one. Is somebody, you know what I'm saying, going to, like, you go do the. Uh, That's funny as shit, too. What you you do the. Um, That's the a comedy ultrasound. skit. The ultrasound. Do the yeah. ultrasound. And, and they see a penis and a fucking vagina. So, do you... But you don't see a penis in the vagina. Sometimes, them cameras, you really can't see what they got. But they making them better now, so you can have more clarity. So, so now... <laughs> so now you saying baby shower was going to change? Mm-hmm. They fucking the game up. Remember when baby shower was just for the women? Yes. Mm-hmm. Strictly for the women. Now, now it's the base where the, the men go to baby showers now. Men, men are going to baby showers now. No, men are getting... <laughs> responsibility in getting it everything together now. They fucking the game up, dog. But or is it is they fucking the game up, or do you see it as a change of times? It's a it's a change of times. I, I ain't gonna say they messing it up. Yeah, because you got it's a change of times. It's a change of time because you got them fathers, or because I ain't gonna lie. Sometimes I used to be like, well, well, I wasn't invited to the baby shower. I've did that before. I only got one kid. But now you got these fathers that's committed to being in every aspect of the pregnancy. So the baby shower was changing now. You gonna have four types: boy, girls, transgender, gay, or lesbian. That's a lot. <laughs> you gonna have to bunch. Ah, uh, you like, heard the phrase here. Yeah, baby showers will change. <laughs> you got four of them. You got four kinds. Nah, some dudes, Boy, girl, some transgender. Dudes want to be a part of it. Gay yeah, or lesbian? What are your kid going to be? What's full of dice? So, I mean, you. you and then, and they still come out, boy, your girl. Either or. <laughs> it's either or. So. <laughs> what are you having? You having a boy, or girl, transgender, or lesbian? Can you imagine that being a question? Or gay? Which one you're having? What color would that be? Like, pink is for girls, blue is for boys. What would be transgender? Uh, that rainbow, the, the, rainbow. the flag, okay. the okay. flag, okay. the flag, and knock out like three of them. So you got blue. <laughs> <laughs> hey, bro, they, they go get us for these comments, bro. You know that, right, bro? Okay. About to be on action news. All right. I I'll take that. I'm your OG baby, Mister Mike. I'ma stay broke, fifteen hundred. <laughs> <laughs> we come at you every Thursday with the hottest topics in the AM. Sue me for my opinion later. Yeah, and in no way, shape, or form do me and my co host mean to offend anyone. It's about opinions and laughter. We just having conversation that some people 
can't or don't want to have to say or mention things about. So we just actually just talking about it. Yes. All right. And shout out to Wendy Williams. Much respect. Yeah. Because a lot of things she can't say because she's a public figure. And, and that means that her word, her, her word carries weight. If you worry, carry weight, they don't want to hear that shit from you. Especially, she's a black woman. Wait, 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 and I'm worried, carry weight. So, she's already looking, being looked down on, and then you, you stirring up the pot. Yeah. <laughs> stirring that motherfucker. <laughs> like, like, let her make some type of Jewish comment. Mm. Them phones be ringing off the hook. And I guarantee you some. From the, from the engineering room. What? <laughs> some some big time some big time Jewish dude will make a phone call to somebody, make a phone call to somebody. Cut the and show. They, and they fuck around be cutting the show. Not 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 at that moment, cut her mic. Cut the show. <laughs> cut her show. She will never be on this TV network. Again. You think she's skinny now, boy. <laughs> After she get through drinking and doing drugs. <laughs> All it's gonna be there is the moves. <laughs> but <laughs> I don't know, man, but there's a lot of cuckoo shit going on in the world today. This transgender stuff is out of control to me. It is just it's just out of control, man. And we you know, we laughing and joking about the uh about the baby shower things, but that shit might be a reality one day. <laughs> like real it's like we had in that way, people. Anytime 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 trying to say uh, humans evolved from monkeys. <laughs> <laughs> so I wouldn't be surprised if they got a, a, a body somewhere on somebody's desk or let or in somebody's lab doing all this type of work to see if this stuff can work. Yeah. I'm I'm telling you, man, is it's just out of control and it's it's hap it's happening a lot. It's like if uh if you line up ten people in that in that ten people, man, it's a mixture of Somebody, one per at least one person on average, one person got somebody that's transgender, one person got somebody that's gay, one person got somebody that's lesbian. All in that mixture. It's gonna be a big competition. Yeah, is is to me, it's that just like wow, man, wow. Like what the fuck? And then you gonna you know you're gonna have that one particular one that just wants to have their opinion over everybody else's. Yeah. <laughs> So it's 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 gonna all to me it's just gonna always be a, a, a continuous debate. Um, I also also think that it's gonna be something that it it, it will never be resolved. Nah, actually, I, I think it's gonna get worse. Cause remember, everybody that's listening, okay? Remember, I said this. <laughs> I'm gonna say it again. They are going to try, since they want to have these fucking operations, these transgenders. I I, I could see them uh, implanting female organs in some uh, in some fucking body to see if a man can carry a baby. I just see that. I also see what we're talking about at these baby showers. Mm -hmm. I see baby showers changing from boy girl to uh third party. Oh. So if uh let's say yo this is about to get deep cuz my mind my mind racing now. All right. <laughs> Let it go. <laughs> so if two gay people adopt a kid, right? So nah, I ain't going to go there. I'm about to I won't do that. I'm your OG baby, Mr. Mike. <laughs> Wrong 1500. Yeah, we I tapped. take the fifth. We, we tapped in the tapped. day, baby. <laughs> it's hot topics today. <laughs> We appreciate everyone that's tuning in. Everybody that's tuned in, you know, tell us what y'all think. Uh, like I said, this uh, this this thing is is running rapid. The force of it is is is, is here. It's, and with them real. teaching, they teaching that shit in schools. They shouldn't even allow that shit to be in schools. I don't care what nobody say. I mean, you gotta look at it. People are gonna be who they who they who they who gonna be gonna anyway. Be. Right. So but teaching you, it in schools is costing the limit. You pushing it now. Uh, Educate yourself by Googling that shit. But see, this <laughs> this is where that, that, that coalition come in because they pushing that whole thing about you have to accept everyone. 
that's true. Everyone has to be accepted. But at this level where you confusing kids. Black people still not accepted. Fuck no, out of here. No. Don't make me go there. No. That's, that's, that's and I don't like playing the race car, but I will, but. That's, that's, to me, that's a, that's a bit much. That's a bit much. It, it should be somewhere to a point where, though, you got to let a person be who they're going to be. But I guess you got to, if you're going to allow a person to be who they're going to be, they want to educate you on, you know. That's cool, too, but, you know, that's why they got libraries. I just don't think, when, when they start talking about that school shit, dog, it, it's like, you know, who would, once again, when it comes to the school. Confusion. Confusion, cause now uh, a kid that that's not fucking gay, you want to be transgender, he might want to experiment with that shit at a young age. At a young age, all because he hearing in the school and and, and they talking about this shit. And that's why I say it's being forced. It, it's not even a natural thing. He just want to do it because it's being forced. And now you taking away a person's choice mm. and a parent because you can't look at that parent. That says, "Well, I don't want my child to be taught by that the trans, uh, transgender and gender. person. I don't even want my kid in that class." Right. So, are you wrong for that? No, you're not. What do y'all think? So, you find out that they teaching your your your, your daughter, your son, about transgenders in your in your son and kids' school. What the hell do you do? Most people. Do you protest? Do you ask other parents? Yeah. Do you draw the line? Yeah. And that's why I say it's going to always be a continuous battle and a approval and a disapproval because you're going to have those people that just say, you know what, enough is enough. And whatever the school is that that's this uh, situation is ha- being handled at, it's going to be those people that say it's okay and it's going to be those people that say it's not okay. So this is not something that's just going to go away. They're just going to... Uh, Force it and pile it on more and more. You see, it's in the commercials. Before we wasn't even getting commercials where they tell. Did you put the commercial I was telling you about? I didn't see it yet. I didn't see it yet. But right. because you know, it's two. The first, the first one started. It was just Dwayne and Gad. I didn't see that. But then the next ones after that followed. It was gay couples. Mm. No, nah, I didn't see that one. But I, but that right there. Before, we didn't have commercials telling you about the side effects. Now they tell you about the side effects of all this medication, but they throwing in <clears throat> that one or two gay gay couple. Amp, what's up, Amp? So you got the gay couple where, though, it might be two guys, two women. You know what I'm saying? They trying to slide it in there easy, but. Slide in there easy. No, but if you really paying attention, and some people are, and some people just will not fold. Because they believe man and woman, and yeah, and that's where that's where that that uh, that debate that debate come in that argument. It's that's where be that. that's where shit get goofy. No, it's going and, and actually it's going to get worse when you get that group of people that throw in the spirituality of it. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the the gonna, religious side of yeah, it. Yeah, that's when it's going to get even worse. But like the boy, at my job always say, and this how you always leave. This how you always leave off. <laughs> He always say, tell him one one religion that tells you that it's cool. Mm. Yeah. That's what he always say to me. Tell me what religion. It's not cool in the Catholic religion, but they do it. It gets done. <laughs> yo, <laughs> Catholic, yo, the, the, the motherfuckers is off the hook, dog. So can you imagine if, if, if Wendy Williams made a, a, a comment about the Catholic priest? The newest one? Or anyone? Mm. Shout out to my young boy. She's uh, who teach the parents teach the kids what? Eh? Parents don't teach the kids about being uh, being transgender or anything. At least I don't think so. But the way that this uh, the way that it's being forced on people now, you damn near have to. So you mean teach them or I'm say teach them, make them aware? Make them aware. Make them aware. Yeah, that's a it's a difference between making them aware yeah. and teaching. Because teaching you, is almost like you encouraging it, right? Because you all you like I said, you still going to have those parents that say man, woman, woman, and then this is what is being pushed on people for acceptance. 
and they call it transgender. So I mean, it's 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 one of those it's one of those situations that's excuse me is gonna go on uh, for a long time. It's not going away. It's not going away because you have so many people with so many different opinions, and how they some people it's not even just their opinion. It's just that's the way that they feel. Yeah, and some people feel real strong about it to their core. Because I told you, man. Oh, hey, we got into. Uh, we got into the debate about this shit. So what we're gonna do is what I'm gonna do real quick. I'm gonna bang this song real quick. Me and Ron gonna catch our breath, and we're gonna come back at you. And once again, we talking about Lil Boozy rant, and we talking about Wendy Williams and her long ass apology to uh, the gay couple. London, hey, they go, they go London, sex out of London. Hey, how you doing? Sorry, I missed your show. Y'all, we were just talking about you, London. <laughs> No, he was. Shout out to my girl London Lust. Remember, catch her. This Monday, she going to come at you with what's popping, baby. All right. But we're going to bang this on real quick, and we're going to come right back at you. I'm Mr. Mike. This is my co-host. Rome 1500. Your old boy is in the building. Hottest topics in the AM, Dropping baby. Opinions and laughter.
the morning. Uh, we want to know what you guys are having for breakfast. Yeah, hold up. We don't know if it's breakfast or lunch. Wait, we want to know what you guys are having for breakfast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So we call it morning. Yeah. All right. So today, you know, we had that hot topic. Wendy Wan, uh, she had to apologize to gay community for what? For the comment that she made. What did she say? She said that gay men will never be the women that women are. True statement. True statement. I ain't got to apologize for that. But we all know she's in the public eye. So with that being said, it is correct for her to apologize. Yeah, because you don't want no gay motherfuckers on your ass. Like I also said, she has enough gay following and enough gay friends that I don't think that is going to make too much of a mess. And we also talked about little boozy ratting on Dwayne Wade. Mm -hmm. Come on, don't cut that thing off. conversation, bro. So do you start crying? <laughs> I don't know. I think we got another one. Yeah, we got another one. Yeah, we got another one. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, that's good. That's good. You think? Oh, we don't know it. You think Gab knew before Dwayne? I think she she probably saw a sign say that. Yeah, she did. She did. She did. She did. She did. She did. Yeah. She 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 said that and she said that she was gonna tell Dwayne 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 that she was gonna tell yeah. You accepting that you were, okay, these are the choices that you make. Because we all tell our children Thanks. eventually. Okay. We all tell them. You're going to make some decisions and choices when we're not around. Yeah. Yes. So, recapping, you think he was too young? Uh, if if they if they already did it, I would say me. Did yeah, what? The operation? Yeah. No, they didn't do the operation yet. Oh. Okay. It's coming though. Well, I would. Come once again, you gotta be of age or not of age. You definitely gotta have your parents' consent. So understanding if they under if they understand his point of view, at this time where he's I think thirteen or fourteen. Yeah, you think it's better now than later? Probably so. Help. I mean, he gonna suffer in life in the end though. It's 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 because I, the pain and all this shit his body gonna go through and all the pills. I never forget the girl from. Uh, the girl Big Ange from the what the New York Mob Wives? What that what that show was? Mob oh, Wives? Oh, oh, oh yeah, yeah. So I'll I'll check it out one time. I mean, this lady was on fucking TV crying about all the pain she was in and all the pills that she had to fucking take. She had a big ass bag, man. Nothing but pills she had to take. But I mean And she like I always kept saying how she was so sorry for doing that. I mean, some people don't look at it that way. Some people, it doesn't affect them to the point that they come to that point to say, well, you know, maybe I but should. She had a lot done, too, but. So, I mean, at at at, at 13, I'm, I'm looking at it from the aspect of, you know, when they say if you have a, a, a problem with a child, it's best to handle it when they're young. Mm. So, I don't know if I can 
sit, put this in the same situation as that. But, I mean, will the pain probably be a lot worse later on? Maybe. Me, maybe so it not. So might be a good maybe thing not. to do now. But then again, get it, like, get it out the way. Right. So, I mean, I, it, that's a touchy situation that only they in that household can answer. Can answer. Yes, indeed. I'm your OG bae, Mr. Mike. Room 1500, your old boy is in the building. We chilling. On the morning hour. The morning hour hours catches every hour. Thursday. Pinions and, Pinions and laughter. And laughter. All right, people. We out of here. We see you next week. How the topics in the AM. How the address, you know, leave us some comments. If you got any topics you want to hear us talk, hear us talk about, you can leave that. All right. Uh, this Monday. This Monday, we're going to come back at you with my girl, London Lust 215. With What's Poppin'. No, she gone. Oh. With What's Poppin'. What's popping is a new show. What is it about? What's popping? Okay. You went to a party over the weekend. You had popping sex. Uh, you went to a concert, restaurant. It don't matter. Oh, well, I got some things. I got some things that, that's popping for me this all week. Right. So I might check in with y'all. Check us. It's called What's Popping. And remember all the outlets that you can find and hear our show. Give them the time again. Give them the time again. Monday when? Monday, 7 p.m., baby. What's all right. popping? Was popping and missed the mic. All right, Apple Spotify, Apple Spotify, <laughs> Apple Podcasts, <laughs> Spotify, uh. iHeart. Man, we round. Holla at me and my old man, me and my codes. All right, and we gonna close it out. My man, Meaty J, he wants some freak vibe right here. I want Rome to hear this right here. This Meaty J, uh. he wants some freak vibe right here. This is the after effects of Valentine's Day, Mr. Mike edition. I'm in control, oh, yeah. I'm in control, baby. I'm in control, oh, I'm in control, baby. Lay down on a bed, spread them legs open, been waiting for this day. Dive all in your ocean, watch your candles lit, music just pumping, can you handle it? Tonight I'll be your usher, I got a confession, I'm a soul snatcher, I'm a ass slapper, I'm a head grabber, that puts it like coke, I got a bad habit, girl this is a robbery, I'm about to snatch it, baby grab my head, put my face into your pussy, you're looking like a snack, let me eat the cookie, sucking on that clitoris, please don't try to stop me, you like it when I lick it, I like it when you watch me, who the fucking hates, cause I'm in control, as I slide my deep inside a hole, fucking with her feelings, and her emotions, we come at the same time in slow motion, I'm in control. Massaging that clitoris in that booty hole yeah. It's that orgasm that'll make you fall Cause shit, I ain't no teaser I am just a pleaser My mission ain't complete until she's shaking like a seizure Fucking her crazy like I'm trying to keep her Come suck on this dick while I lick that click Six to nine, baby, cause you know I'm with the shit Girl, I know you nasty, come swallow my kiss Then after that, I'll ride back on this dick Hands around her neck when I get this stroking Know she about to come, ain't no need to hold it Been fucking for hours, let's go all night I got that good dick that could fuck up your life